Hey everybody, I'm Nancy McDermott. You're in my kitchen and welcome to Nancy's Table. I wanna to talk to you today about, not about tea, I've got my favorite little teapot here, but I wanna to talk to you about lemongrass. This is the rather uninspiring way that I'm able to find it at my uh, local Asian grocery store, Li Ming. And they used to have it loose. Um, in the last few months, they started wrapping it up. It's sold by the pound and they started wrapping it up into clusters, which is about the size that if you cook Thai or Malaysian or Vietnamese or uh, other Asian foods or just know and love lemongrass, that's about the amount that you'd need for maybe a couple of standard recipes. So um, the first thing to do is get the plastic off, which I'm, uh, you know, if it were on there a long time, it could actually be harmful, but they keep it in a refrigerated section. So it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, now this is, this turns out to be about five, Let's see, four and a half pieces of lemongrass. They're in good shape considering what I can find in my uh, local marketplace. And uh, I just wanna show you how easy it is to get the kind of good enough lemongrass that is widely available uh, across the United States nowadays in, in some supermarkets, but definitely in Asian markets and oftentimes in farmer's markets and to get some nice, good lemongrass ready to cook and turn it into a lemongrass garden. And all the good things come for a little bit of work. So let's take a look at what we've got here with these, uh, these pieces that I brought home from the market. So you can see how it is tapered. It's about the size of a scallion. I mean, it's got this tall, grassy, leafy top and this bulbous base. Uh, it might remind you of a scallion or a green onion. The first thing that I'm going to do is cut it down to about the length of a finger, my finger. So I'm gonna take this piece and I'm measuring and I'm saying, okay, about that long is what I want. I'm gonna do the same thing with, okay, so here's my finger up to about there. It already smells good. I'm chopping all of these. And let's see, I'm chopping the four of them. Oh, there's something I wanna show you wrong with one of them. All right, so I've got now four pieces that are <laughs> uneven, but hey, for me, that's pretty good. Those are the pieces that I've got, and I'm gonna to need to trim them up a little bit. So I've got these trimmed up, and now I wanna clean up the base a little bit. So I'm gonna cut them as close to the end, to the where it gets smaller. See how it's fat and then it gets a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna open up that end a little bit. And like, here's my fourth one. See how that tapers down? I don't wanna cut it off. I want it to taper down, have a tiny bit of a little neck. And then right there is where I wanna give a fresh cut. The fresh cut means that it's gonna absorb water and say, oh, it's time for me to grow again and it also smooths it off and gives it a um, just a smooth edge if there's a, some, you know, basically dead wood down there. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a layer or two of the leaves, which are so tightly on here. This is where I need my reading glasses. I'm not reading, but I'm reading the, uh, the lemongrass and I need to see where I'm going. So I've reached my finger underneath there and I am peeling off a layer of this leaf. See the leaves, it's tightly embedded. So I took that layer off and see how it's a little bit more tapered. I'm gonna just do one more of that. See where we get, and look what happens when I peel off one more layer. See how much of the woody base there is? That part's not good, that part is not gonna grow. So I'm gonna go back in and I trimmed it and now it's only that long I took off this whole woody bottom that we don't need. So this is the beauty part that I need. Now, look inside. You see where it's purple? See how up here at the top, it's, it's pale, it's light green, but down at the bottom, it's purple. That's where the flavor is on lemongrass. Down at the base, at this plump base area, there's a purple color. I don't know why, but if you see the purple color, that's the flavor part. Now look, at, look where I cut it. Not much purple there, right? Let's take it down a little bit more. It's starting to get a little bit purple. Take it down a little bit more. And 
and there we go. Look at that. We struck purple gold. That's the part that has the most flavor that we're going to want for cooking. That's the part where, in terms of growing the rest of it, we really don't need it all. I'm just going to take one more layer off, open it up, and now I'm done. Okay, I'm going to set that one down here. That one is ready to go. And all these parts that I cut off, I'm going to set them aside and we'll come back to that in just a minute. All right, here's my here. I've done two. Let me get my third one here. Again, that looks like it's trimmed off, but it's not. Let's peel this layer of leaf. And see that leaf? It's not purple at all. Let's take another one off. Using my fingernail, pulling it back. Ah, there's the purple part. Taking that off. I think that's about enough. It's not very purple on that end. Let's make it a little bit shorter. Tiny bit more, there we go. See how there's purple. And look at the base. Now I'm, I've got a woody base, a little more than I need. Trim that part up and we're good. I've got three, one of them didn't turn out to work very well. I've got three nice trimmed ends. See how they've got a little purple on the cut edge. They've got nice fresh bases which will uh, take up the water. And here's how they look sideways. So see how they come to a little neck at the end. I'm gonna put these three in water and I've got just a little canning jar, a little ball canning jar. And I'm gonna put in some water. I was gonna put them in here, but it's a little tall. It's a little more room than I need. This is gonna be just right. I'm putting in one, two, three. And you know what? There are two what I really need is four, five, six. I need a jar full of these because they'll, I'm gonna pour a little bit of that out. I want them all to be, night. I want them to be submerged in water in terms of the base, but I don't want the top to be submerged. So this is fine. Now, here's what I wanna show you. See how this is very pale, light, very hardly even green. It's almost more golden, more yellow. These I did four days ago and they looked exactly the same. This one and this one, exactly the same. Look how green this is. This is how much four, three or four days in water took this from this color to this color. It brought a shoot out of the top. These things want to grow. They're lying, you know, just lying there wrapped up in plastic in the Asian market, but they want to be gorgeous in your garden. They want to flavor your soups. It's really easy to get them growing, especially if it's summertime, if it's spring through summer, um, that's the time of year where they are, it's really motivated. So you're, you're just getting out of the way here. Okay, so let me show you these four that I did earlier in the week. See how they are green. Now, what they, look at this one. See how this one has a tiny little teardrop at the base? That is a new stalk. That is where a new baby lemongrass stalk is coming out and it's gonna to grow to the side. When lemongrass is planted in the dirt, you've got this one as a root. These, that when you, we plant them, these are gonna be the mothers and the little babies are gonna come out from the side. So this one won't actually be a very delicious one to harvest, but this is the starter that you want. So look how beautifully green those are. I'm looking to see, I don't have any. So they're beautiful and green, but they don't have roots yet. Let me show you how that goes. So I've got these new. I'm going to put them in a sunny window and come back to them another day. These are started. These probably need another maybe two weeks or three weeks to get nice little stems. Let me show you what they look like. Now, these are lemongrass stalks. They were tired. I, I couldn't get ones even this pretty, so they were sort of not very healthy, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna see what I can do with them. I, sometimes when I wanna put a batch together, I tie them together with a twist tie. This is from a loaf of bread. So if you want, if you've got lemongrass and it's falling apart, you can use a twist tie to bring them together. I'm gonna pull out from my uh, honey bear here, I'm gonna pull out two, two of them and show you. So here's where we start today. Here's where we'll be four days from now. And this is where we'll be a couple of weeks from now. Can you see the fat white roots that are coming out? The, you will also eventually see some very thin hairy roots. So there's two types of roots that will come out and you wanna see a nice amount of both of them before you put them in dirt. So what we're gonna talk about today is really just rooting them. So you're gonna get your 
lemon, fresh lemongrass from the grocery store. Doesn't matter, you know, if get it the greener ones, the better, but you can work with these. They're, they're a little bit tired, but they're still good for flavoring your soups and curry paste. And they're also gonna be sensational for growing. Now, let me show you, when I've got this one uh, to this point, I'm just going to see if I can open it up take off another leaf. Remember how I took off a leaf before? And let's see, am I going the wrong? Oh, there we go. I got a leaf here. I'm pulling on it and pulling it down. Just pulling it off. And let's see if we can find a tiny tidbit inside that's ready to grow. Let's see if any of these have little stalks that were ready to come out. Doesn't look like on this one. Oh, there's a tiny, there's a tiny one, tiny one there. And look how much leaf has come out of this one. Beautiful. Set that aside. Now let's look at this one. So it hasn't gone along quite as far, but it's got some nice little roots at the base. It's got the tip coming out and let me pull off the side. Uh, let me pull off a leaf or two here and see if I've got, now I wouldn't cut this anymore. See how it, see how even at the base it's green? Don't cut it anymore. Now, even though I've got that thick chunky part, that's not actually, that roots are still coming out of that. So that's still good. Okay, I'm gonna put the, that one back in here. Now, let me show you this one. I left this one neglected too long. And so it got, the, the outer part of it needed to be trimmed back, but you know what? it's not too late. I'm just pulling that. I can tell it's brown, it's not green. That's not lively and beautiful anymore. But all I have to do, that's just a husk. That's just a section that we don't need. See how I pulled, I pulled that off and got down to where I've got, look at that bright green base. Look at all those roots. And can you see here how it works? So this was my original stalk, very skinny. This is a side winder. This is a baby that came up out of the side and is now almost as tall as the mother. Isn't that amazing? So that one is ready to, so these two are ready to plant. And let me show, let's see if one more, one more of these, this is a little, little skinny bit, skinny mini. Look at this one. This is where we're going. This one is old. It'll still grow, but I left it in there a long time, but see how it's still, this tiny one coming up, another side one coming out. So I've got enough to get dirt. Another day we'll do planting. I'll, I'll take dirt and I'll stick these in the dirt in a shallow way. And you know what you do before you plant them? You don't need any of this top goodness. I'm gonna just snip that off and set it aside. And when I go to plant, that's all I need. I'm gonna put them in the dirt and they're gonna send out their shoots from the side. And a few months down the road, we will have beautiful lemongrass. So that's planting them is another day. I'm gonna leave these in water. And so I'll probably, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off all the tip tops and these top green leaves I use to make tea and I use to make sodas. I can infuse them in a soup. Don't waste them. That's another thing that we can talk about another day. But today, what I want you to do is I want you to go out and find some lemongrass, even if it's dry looking, if you're selling it in the grocery store and it's sturdy, if it's floppy, you don't want it. But if it's sturdy and firm like this is, see how firm that is? You want to trim it off to about the length of your thumb, a finger, think of a finger, trim up the base, put it in water and look for it to turn bright green and start sending out shoots from the top. And eventually we'll want you to see little teeny roots at the bottom. And that's when we'll come back and we will um, put it in dirt, okay? All right, so today I want you to get started with growing fresh lemongrass and I'll come back with a video in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna watch these. So if you start some in the next couple of days, you'll be caught up with me. We'll get some dirt and we'll put them into dirt. I like to put them in a pot. You, you, could, you could put them out uh, in the ground, but since I'm in a place where we have an actual winter, I like to bring them inside in the winter. So let's get a small pot growing. So let me know in the comments, if you cook with lemongrass, what do you do with it? Where do you find it? Have you already been growing it? I would love to hear your lemongrass stories. All right, that's my gardening leading to cooking 
uh, video for today. Thank you for joining me. And I hope that you are a lemongrass lover as I am. And I hope that some of you are inspired to start a little bit of a lemongrass rooting at home. And if not, at least now you know and appreciate it even more when you go out and get those delicious soups and stews and curries that put lemongrass to work. All right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. I'd love to have you in my, uh, in my subscriber channel family. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon here on Nancy's Table. Bye now.